is up YouTube fam I'm actually back making another video I'm kind of bored and have to drive all the way back to my house from my girlfriend's house so why not just talk into this camera for 30 minutes <laughs> try won't make the video that long but today we're gonna discuss if I should get rid of the Subaru or not I've come to terms where it's like I miss being in a quick car and this really doesn't do it. I mean, I love the car, but it's slow as hell. And I don't know if I want a new WRX or, I mean, I don't really like the new ones, but just to be turboed again or go with the BRZ. A lot of people say it's really nice for an entry-level sports car. Um, I wouldn't mind that. Or go with a V8. I've never had a V8 before, but I kind of have a feeling that I really, really want one. So I don't know, it's kind of like, put me in a situation where it's like, I could keep this car, I could lower it, put wheels on it, whatever, make it look decent, hopefully get rid of that STI spoiler I put on there. Um, not too much really else to do with this car, just because it costs like $5,000 to get the whole turbo kit for this car, then I gotta build the internals and all stuff like that, so it's not even really worth making this car any faster, when I can just trade it in a little bit in the future and go from there and see what I can go from there but here's a nice little cold start can't have the oil consumption issue which yes I did but I got around 25,000 miles on the bottom end right now and 73,000 on the body um, yeah the motor's got a lot of life in it left I can drive it all the way until the finance runs out yeah I'm still paying on this car I mean kind of broke but it gets me to where I need to be which is to work um, <laughs> but I'm hoping to maybe I don't know get something on a lease I, I don't know because on a lease I like to change my cars every so often hey because for some odd reason I get bored pretty quick so a lot of the questions I, I get asked is if my car has the check engine light on if I got rid of the check engine light no, definitely haven't. I've been too lazy to really even bother putting time into spending the money on the Tactrix cable and finding someone to tune the car. Uh, it's just a whole big mess there. I mean, I've been running the car pretty fine. Um, it hasn't given me any issues. But if I do end up keeping the car, then yeah, it'll eventually get tuned. Um, it's just I don't know what I should be saving the money for, you know. Because if I'm going to get rid of the car, there's no point in actually doing anything. I have all the stock parts still, so I just throw the stock header back on there and go from there. That's all that's really done to this car is just the header and dump spoiler, but... They're going to have to take that for what it is. I want to stay with Subaru as much as possible. Um, that's why I consider the BRZ. Yes, I know it's rear wheel drive, non-turbo, all that stuff. But the reviews I watch on the car are actually pretty interesting. Like, 
they they explain how yeah it doesn't really have all the power but it is like a driver's car um they said you really feel like you're in a sports car when you're in it um it takes the turns well handles great um but then when i go back to the wrx they say you know yeah it has the power when you need the power but you still are driving a four-door family sedan so I would love to have another WRX. Don't get me wrong. I would love another WRX, but these new ones are, are not tasteful. I mean, if I could go back and get a used WRX, I'd go back to an 04, 05. I mean, the probably cheapest I would do would be a bug eye, just to have a WRX again. Because <clears throat> you can pick those up pretty cheap down here, like fifteen to $2,500, depending on its condition. So... And about the V8, why I would want a V8 is, come on, who wouldn't want a V8 at least once in their life? I, I just love the power that they put down. I, I mean, yeah, I drove a buddy's Mustang GT, and it, they're, they're pretty nice. I mean, it had a little bit of shit done to it. Uh, it's not bad, but I mean, I would consider the newer 5-liter Mustang or maybe one of the Camaros. I'm not too sure. But the Mustang seems to be the most affordable. For, you know, you get all the power. Yeah, it is kind of feeling like you're driving a boat a little bit. But you still got power. And the sound of a V8 is awesome. But if it does come down to me getting rid of my car, uh, the pseudo header that I have on here would be up for sale. It wouldn't be expensive at all. I mean, I paid $375 brand new, so probably like a hundred bucks to whoever wanted those once I go to put the car back to stock. Boy, people cannot drive in Florida. That's the one thing, it's season. It just turned season, so now everybody is here. The roads are congested all over the place for no goddamn reason. you get all the asshole drivers from out of state down here. It's like driving the most, it's so stressful down here for no reason. Driving is so stressful. And you're just, you're just trying to get home. Okay, back to what I was saying. I wish the Impreza came boosted. That's what it needs. It just needs a little bit of little bit of push. And this car wouldn't suck so bad. Also, for y'all who actually watch these videos, um, if you guys want to add me on uh, Instagram and Facebook. Uh, Instagram, it's StockAF underscore studios. And then on Facebook, it's just StockAF studios. Uh, <clears throat> love the followers. Definitely wouldn't mind some more followers. Well, I don't make enough videos to actually gain the attention. So it's like, I try to pop a video up every now and then, but it's like, I gotta think of what it's gonna be about and all that when I'm all tied up with work all the time. So it's like I can never actually get anything out there produced. And then it leaves me hopeless to this. If you heard that, that was that Ford Excursion. Lovely music to my ears, but. I mean, it would be awesome. I see all the YouTubers on there that are out there making money pr producing videos and it would be so nice and so much practice for me. I wish I had the time to actually do it.
definite pet peeve. When the speed limit is set at a 45, everybody's doing 30. No point, no reason for that. It's not like there's actual like bad, bad traffic on this road, but it, there's no need for it. Since I don't mod this car that all the time, I have nothing to make new videos about. So that's another reason why it's difficult because I, I have no time to touch the car. No money to touch the car with. So there's nothing I can just be like, here, check this new thing out I got for the car. And the only thing I have is the exhaust. And that gets boring to people, you know? They wanna see more, they wanna see new things. And just right at this moment, I, I don't I don't have this that type of stuff yet. Like, you know, you got all the other guys out there that, that can do it. Like, oh, they all have the option. Like, they can work on their cars freely. <clears throat> but I live in an apartment complex where we're not allowed to touch our vehicles, work on them any sort at all. And I have no garage to put a car into store or a storage unit. I looked for a storage unit or a garage and they were all overpriced and made it a lot more difficult. So, I mean, I had the ideas of project cars on the side and just continue daily this, but then I sold my project car. I picked up an old, uh, what was it, 88 300ZX Turbo and I had to get rid of it three weeks after I bought it because I had no place to store it. Cause I wasn't gonna register that register that thing the way it was in, but it drove. But sold that quick. Now I'm back to just driving the Subaru. So maybe, maybe in time, once my girlfriend and I get an actual house, I already told her that the garage is gonna be strictly for me. So hopefully we'll be able to pump out some videos in the future. But as it sits right now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed me rambling on about random stuff and hope that you guys are there in the future when more videos come around. Thanks. <laughs>